And mental health professionals are weighing in on the passing of House Bill 470, called the Slate of Hate by some who oppose it. The bill aims to restrict gender affirming health care for minors, including mental and physical care. The legislative body voted 75 to 2020 to move the bill to the Kentucky Senate, but amendments were made to the bill only hours before it was passed. Here's a look at some of the significant changes. When the bill was first introduced, health care providers could be criminally charged for providing gender affirming care. Under the amended, the changed bill, doctors and health care providers who provide gender transition services could lose their licenses, but would no longer risk criminal charges. WHAS 11's Alexis Jones spoke with a mental health professional today about the potential impact that that might have. What'd you learn, Alexis? Well, she, according to multiple studies, transgender kids are two times as likely to attempt suicide than their peers. Experts say it's not because they're prone to suicide, but because they're at a higher risk of mistreatment. And though the bill no longer bans counseling for these minors, a psychologist I spoke to today says it still has a negative effect on their mental health. The truth is that you can't separate the mind and the body, which is what they tried to do by taking mental health out. Licensed therapist Sheila Schuster is already witnessing the impact of House Bill 470 firsthand. It was a very sad, terrible day in Frankfurt yesterday, but there were a lot of tears up there yesterday. There was a lot of hopelessness up there. And I don't think that's the role of government. Schuster sat in the chambers Thursday as the legislation passed through the committee and then the House. The bill restricts gender affirming care for people under 18, which she says will overwhelm mental health offices and put transgender children at a greater risk of depression, anxiety and worse. And the harm is that you shut that door to hope. To uh, exploration, to figuring out what really fits for me as an individual and you shut that completely off. And I think we will see, I can't give you a number, but I think we will see a significant uptick in suicidal attempts and possibly successfully completed suicides. However, doctors who support the bill say allowing children to choose their gender and make medical calls can cause more harm. They cannot make a fully informed medical decision because they don't have a full adult cognitive function. But Schuster argues that receiving gender affirming care isn't a decision they make alone. In most cases, that child and the family would be referred to a mental health professional. It's not something that's gone into lightly or quickly. It's a years long process of both mental health and physical health care. Adding the legislation has less to do with the protection of children and more to do with erasing the LGBTQ community. You can legislate people into silence, adults, but you are not going to make these kids go away and you are not going to make their needs go away. And those unmet needs are going to end up in deaths. And when you cut off hope, that's exactly what you're doing. And the bill is now heading to the Kentucky Senate for discussion. In the studio, Alexis Jones, WHS 11, on your side.